Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? Welcome back to my channel. I really hope you're having an amazing day. So in this video everyone, I will be covering who will not receive a $1,400 third stimulus check and how the IRS will be updating the Get My Payment tool from this moment forward. I want to say thank you all so much for being here. Please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family so we can help as many people as we can finally get their third stimulus check. Also, the winner of this week's $50 Amazon gift card giveaway is Great Cloudy Day. Congratulations! But remember everyone, next Friday I will be giving away another $50 Amazon gift card. To enter the giveaway, all you'll need to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and then comment below. Alrighty everyone, so the IRS and US Treasury Department are working on getting you and 30 million other Americans your $1,400 stimulus checks. And according to the Social Security Administration, if you receive SSI or SSDI benefits, you will see your stimulus money either as a direct deposit to your direct express card, bank account, or in the mail. The SSA has stated that the IRS will not send economic impact cards to this group. So if you are a SSI, SSDI, RRB, or survivor's beneficiary, you should not expect an economic impact card in the mail. I know that there are some of you who are wondering whether the IRS Get My Payment tool has to update first before you can see a penny deposit in your bank accounts. But as far as I know, the Get My Payment tool is not really reliable. I have read hundreds of comments saying that the Get My Payment tool never has been updated, even after they received their stimulus payment. So I would say no. The tracker tool does not have to update in order for you to receive your $1,400 stimulus payment. The Internal Revenue Service updates its Get My Payment tracker tool for stimulus checks daily. This tool should show you the status of your payment, including when a check is scheduled for delivery. But however, I know most of you are still seeing a payment status not available message. The IRS portal can also flag if there's a problem with your payment you may need to address but the tool will not tell you the amount that you'll receive. I am sure that millions of you are still wondering when you will actually receive your $1,400 stimulus check. Well, the IRS did begin processing payments earlier this morning. The Internal Revenue Service often begins processing payments on Friday and then on, on Wednesday, which is a couple days later. Americans are able to access the $1,400 payment. Back on March 17th, President Joe Biden signed the $1.9 trillion stimulus relief bill into law. That very same day, some lucky Americans were sent their $1,400 third stimulus checks. So if the IRS is able to process payments within hours, you should be able to access your $1,400 check before the end of today. Please let me know, everyone, if you still see a penny notice in your bank accounts. If you are still currently seeing a payment date for March 26th on the IRS Get My Payment tool, it is very likely that you will receive your stimulus check by the end of this week. However, the delivery time for stimulus checks varies. But if you have the correct mailing information on file for the IRS, please do not worry. Your check is surely on its way to you right now. Remember that families with younger kids to older dependents could see a significant boost in money from the government over the next 12 months. And this is such wonderful news. Adult dependents can also receive up to $1,400 from the American Rescue Plan. In addition, an expanded 2021 child tax credit could start boosting millions of families' income this summer. So for those of you wondering, here is how the child tax credit will be divided. The amount you would receive would be half of what you're owed for the year, and the amount you would receive the other half of the payment with your 2020 tax refund, which would be filed in 2022. You could also receive up to $300 per month for each qualifying child age five and under, and up to $250 per month for each child between the ages of six and 17. I know that this expanded child tax credit will greatly help millions of Americans. So if you qualify for the $3,000 and you have one dependent, you'd get an estimated $250 per month from July to December, totaling $1,500. You'd then need to claim the rest of the child tax credit amount when you file your 2021 taxes next year. Sadly and unfortunately, some Americans' $1,400 third stimulus checks are vulnerable to garnishment by private debt collectors. 
lawmakers were not able to pass a bill that would protect Americans' stimulus payment from debt collectors. And according to experts, these kind of payments go directly into taxpayers' bank accounts. And those bank accounts are one of the easiest ways for third-party collection companies to seize amounts. While garnishment can't take place on federal student loan and tax debt, governors in six states have already taken steps to stop private debt collectors from garnishing the latest round of stimulus checks. Governors in Maryland, New Jersey, and Washington, as well as state attorney generals in Massachusetts, Nebraska, and New York have taken action in the past few weeks to make sure that the most vulnerable residents will receive their money. We're to the White House now, where President Biden is set to unveil his massive new infrastructure plan. Trillions proposed for roads, bridges, clean energy, so much more, but there's a big battle brewing over how to pay for it. Our chief White House correspondent, Cecilia Vegas, tracking it all. Good morning, Cecilia. Hey, George, good morning. You said the word massive is exactly what it's going to be, and this is going to be even bigger than the new that they struggle to pass. It's going to be rolled out in two phases starting today. Let me show you what's in it so far. That first phase, it's going to focus on physical infrastructure. You just said it, things like roads, bridges, railroads, broadband. It's also going to focus on clean energy like electric cars. Then in the coming weeks, they're going to shift to this so-called human infrastructure. That's going to be reportedly things like paid leave for workers, universal pre-K, tuition-free community college. The price tag on both of these paths potentially as much as three to four trillion dollars. So how are they going to pay for all this? They're focused on rolling back going to raise them from 21 to 28 percent. They also want to increase penalties on these companies that move jobs overseas. Now, you know this, President Biden has promised to not raise taxes on people making less than $400,000 a year. George, one estimate says that we could be looking at more than two million jobs out of a package like this. Right, and President Biden has also conceded to say that he knows he's not going to get enough Republican votes to pass those taxes. So it's creating some tricky politics for the Democrats here very tricky politics and this could potentially be their biggest hurdle on this one. Republicans are calling this want to see tax increases like this. We're also already seeing cracks in the ranks among Democrats. Moderates say this could be too expensive and progressives to say they want more out of this, George. Cecilia Vega, thank you. So everyone, please leave your questions or comments in the comment section below. That is the end of the video for now. I truly hope you found this video helpful. And remember, don't forget to enter the $50 Amazon gift card giveaway by subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and then commenting below. Thank you very much and have a very, very blessed day.